Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to get worksheets, upload them into Seesaw, and make them movable. What I want is to get this loaded into Seesaw, and I want these pieces right here to be movable in Seesaw. Okay, so my kids can just drag the answers into first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. It's a sequencing activity. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to my Seesaw. I'm in my library right now. I'm going to say create new activity. And I'm just going to say sequencing pizza making. Okay. And then you can fill in all the directions. And now I'm going to show you how to add the template so the students can respond. I am going to say upload and I have my files saved to the desktop so they were PDFs so I'm going to upload this one okay that's the first page I am actually going to turn this one so it's the correct way so it's facing the right direction okay there I have it now how am I going to add the other parts okay, the movable parts well, let me take this one first. Okay, I'm just shrinking it right now because I want to make room to make put the movable parts on the side. Okay, okay. So now you're thinking, how am I going to add the other one? Originally, it looked like a whole page. Okay. It looked like that. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to take a screenshot, a separate screenshot. So five of them, one, two, three, four, five. And on my MacBook Air, it is Command Shift 4. And then I can select what I want. So I'm not going to take the frame. I'm just going to take the actual words, the inner box, basically. Okay. And I'm going to screenshot all five of them. After I've screenshotted all five of them, it's going to appear on my desktop. And I'm just going to drag all five of them. I'm going to select all five of them from my desktop. And I'm going to drag it into Seesaw. There it goes. There's all five of them. Let me shrink them. Make sure they kind of fit. And that is how you would create the drag and drop activity. After I've resized them, I just put them on the side. And then your students can take it and drag it to the correct spot. Okay. So I hope this helps you. Um, when you don't have a chance to hand out material things to your students, that sometimes you can still just put it on Seesaw and they can still complete the activity. Have a good day.